Hello again, it's uh, Rider Cam TV. I'm on my own because uh, Toby's away doing something. But uh, I thought I'd give a quick chat about something I've just bought for the bike, and it concerns the security of bikes. And uh, it's something that we're all, you know, obviously very conscious of. And um, I have a viewpoint on it, it's going to be completely different to everyone else's. I understand that. But um, let me show you what I've got. And it's this this is a handlebar lock from Cactus Papa. And I'm just going to quickly show you that. Look at that little rascal. How cool is that? Now in our efforts to bring you stuff that um, you know we think is probably worth buying, um, in our opinion, obviously everyone's opinion is different, um, I bought that off the internet from a company called Cactus Papa. You know you see all these in that born to ride and all this sort of stuff comes up on Facebook and you're like, oh is it a bit dodgy, whatever. Well, do you remember I did some a review on some gloves that I bought off the internet for 24 quid? Summer gloves actually last me two seasons now, so they're pretty cool. Um, and I saw this, and I've been after one of these handlebar locks on my bike for a long time, but because my bike has the um, uh, like the bark buster type stuff on it, you know, the hand guards here, a lot of the um, types of uh, locks that you get tend to be over in this direction where it locks on uh, to the handlebar first and then the and then the brake and you can't actually get it to fit on. So anyway, I saw this on the internet and this one fits around in uh, in this kind of position as you can see and um, I thought it was pretty it was worth having a go and having a look and see what it did what it what it what it worked out at because it comes in at I think it was about 24 quid plus 4 pound postage and packing and, and that was um, I think it was 39 dollars you know obviously with exchange rates and things like that it might be a bit different but you know i thought i'd give it a go so what i'm going to try and do is show you what um, how it works and all the rest of it but typically what i use normally is one of these you know the old trusty disc lock which is fantastic um and you know put it on the front disc put the little strap around you around your brake so you know you're, you're not going to drive off with it on the thing and i've seen people putting them on the rear brake disc as well and i've also seen people using chains now when we're away on tour you don't be carrying a massive big chain with you so something nice and small is is quite a good thing i think but people have used chains and i've seen them they put them around the back wheel you know obviously you can't drive off with it but all people need to do if they want to steal your steal your bike and you've got a chain line on the floor is get a big sledgehammer bash it it'll shatter the chain in a lot of cases and, and then they can nick your bike anyway or they quite handy now they've got these little um, battery operated um, disc cutters just slice through the chain like that now no bike is safe don't get me wrong this is not going to stop somebody stealing your bike but the way I look at it is if your bike has got something like uh, a disc lock on you know or one of these handlebar locks and the bike next to you hasn't they'll steal the other bike because it's just a pain in the neck and the longer it takes them to mess about with your bike the longer they are exposed to being being seen by other people and so they'll always take the easy option so with that in mind that's why I bought this uh, this handlebar lock and it's also it's easier than having to get your dirt, hands dirty which is quite often the case uh, by putting a, a disc lock on because there's just brake dust all over it so I thought this was quite a good option and um, I think it's 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 pretty good. Now you can get them in lots of different colours. Basically, there's a big bar if you see inside there that fits. I'm doing this one-handed, unfortunately. So you can see it locks inside, can't come out. And as you've got the two shapes there, you've got this one is for your handlebar, and this one here with my little finger shoving through is for the um, the brake lever. And then it's got a pretty uh, substantial lock which just pushes down and locks it in place like I said it's not going to stop somebody nicking your bike but it'll certainly make it more difficult for them if we were you to put a disc brake on your rear disc and this on your front thing uh, your front brake lever all they got to do is pick your bike up which is great but this is a beast it weighs 263 kilos that's not a one-man job so um, I think it's pretty good anyway this works really simply. The key there, I'm just going to try and show you how it works. It fits onto the handlebars. The brake lever fits in there and all you do...
is that so you can see i had to go i had to go quiet then because i had the camera in my mouth so if it's really dodgy i'm sorry but because toby's not here to help me you can see there that the brake lever fits inside and is pulled on so the wheel won't turn it clips over the handlebars and he's, as you can see i've got um uh, grip buddies on my handlebars so if it fits over there as it will fit over a standard um, uh, handlebar and then it just locks closed now just to shoot show you the back the front wheel is off the ground and as you can see it's not gonna it doesn't turn so it works and that's pretty cool now if you were to combine that with a disc lock on your rear uh, brake disc if you really wanted to then you'd be able to see that this bike isn't going to be stolen unless it's picked up you know physically by four or five people and put in the back of a van so cactus papa was the name of the company i bought it from excuse me bought it from uh, it was on the internet uh in uh, facebook and i think it took me it took about three weeks to arrive um and I'm assuming because it's an American, you know, I had to pay in dollars, it's come from America. Um, there was no customs fee saying that the HMRC will be on top of me now, you watch. But um, I think for 24 quid, that's a pretty good deal. And if it makes somebody go and look at somebody else's bike and not mine for stealing, I'm more than happy with that. So, Toby will put some bits and pieces around here somewhere because he does like that. If you like the video, give us a big thumbs up and uh, subscribe to us because we always like that at the time that we're making this video now we're just coming up to 7,000 subscribers which is awesome and um, if you have other ideas of ways of security and securing your bike let us know uh, we're always good, glad to hear that because we don't want people stealing bikes so thumbs up thank you very much see you soon